gentlemen for tips. That's the title. That's the title, guys. Eat your Wheaties. All right. Yes. So we tips. we are not uh um, title. We're not doing IQ tests this week. Damn I'm sorry, it. guys. I know I failed you guys. Shit. Next week it is. So be on the lookout. Fucker. Bro, what is going on? Oh, oh my oh. gosh. What's Bro. <laughs> What's happening? I just clicked open this this tab and it opened up like Born. a hundred windows. And now I gotta close out of all these motherfucking Stop God, good computer, bro. Who does this? How did I even do that? That was kind of sick. Not gonna lie. You're a bummer. I feel like snapping on this nigga, Chris. Who? That nigga that was talking to, talking to Mike. I feel like he's just talking out his neck. You, you, like you, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like he's trying to like, I don't know, trying to be Not, sick. He's gonna like bitch him, bitch him down, but like, like. Like side, like side slick shit. Yeah, some white people shit. Yeah. Some white people shit. What's up, Ozzy? What's up, dog? Oh, I see what I did. You're still looking fresh. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I just got, I just got home, man. You said why? <laughs> why I'm looking fresh? Yeah. I'm I just got home. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, hey, uh. Just an update. Uh, we had new, new videos entering the new top, uh, the top videos performing in the atmosphere uh, of our Irrational Therapy catalog. Tory Lanez and the Breezy album. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's growing, and uh, we 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 have more dislikes than likes. So I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming the, the the like the Chris Brown gang and shit, they're they're watching it and like. They're not digging what we're saying about their favorite artists, but whatever. Like the way I see it, as they, as long as they're watching, that's all I give a fuck about. They could like it, dislike it. Uh, Amy Winehouse, the love there. In August, uh, I talked to a high school buddy. She went to 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 college and everything, and now she's working for Sony. She's a Sony graphic designer. Uh, I'm talking to her and she's going to be making us a logo in August. Like she's backtrack, like not backtrack, but like she's uh, booked all the way into August. So like we talked about getting a new logo and uh, getting new ideas for merch. So like she's going like, to, I'm, I'm excited. So <laughs> that and we got two commercials this com- uh, this uh, episode. I have, I have, uh, I ended up getting, I ended up filling the the form out for Amazon. So I got a, a link for Audible. So we could get two, two audio books with the link as long, like, as long as you sign up for the membership and everything. I love uh, Audible. I love Audible. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, only Audible I like is in Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but we want to sell this, so like, please don't say that. <laughs> what are we yeah. selling? Oh, we're live right now. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what are we selling? No. What are they no, selling? No, no. <laughs> Chocolates. Audible. Chocolates. <laughs> Audible. Uh, uh, audio. Uh, audio books for Audible. Oh, where are we making books? <laughs> we can. Uh, we can. We can make a book eventually. Ozzy can sell ice to a. Uh, what is it, Eskimo? I mean, one idea that we could do. <laughs> Uh, what I idea we could do is is make a a book out of all of our greatest hits so like i mean it, well, and it's just like about our life a dialogue or yeah we could do Biography. a book of our lives about how we met it's <laughs> so my first birthday party right <laughs> i've seen this the, nigga <laughs> the second uh commercial is gemini it's where you could buy a bitcoin and whatnot so, hey, uh, oh, they say about Gemini's, you can't trust them, nigga. 
Hey. Ooh. I'm a I'm at, How did I feel, I'm at Chris? The, I'm at this Gemini. I'm, I'm a Gemini. Like, you're a Gemini? Yeah, June 7th, bro. Oh, for real? For shit. That makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, yeah, we got those coming up. Uh, we got the IQ Apple test Apple. next week. Happy motherfucking Mother's Day to y'all. And, and Mother's Day. <laughs> y'all mothers and y'all baby mothers. Y'all baby mamas, y'all dramas. Y'all and doggies. Yo. Yeah. yeah. I know what y'all got going. Yeah, well, uh, what y'all do today? Who? Ozzy, what you do for, for, for Mother's Day? I took the cellular out to eat. Where at? Hooters? Nah, I wish. Oh. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we went to, she wanted to stay. We went to Outback. She wanted to go to Outback. It was all right. Uh, it, wasn't, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't all that and bad potato chip. They were, they overcooked my steak, but it is what it is. <laughs> and uh, everybody can't be perfect, you know what I'm saying, in the kitchen. Literally. I guess. You didn't That's request a new steak? Nah, man. I wasn't going to deal with them niggas. And, we, and it was Damn. packed as fuck, and we were sitting at the bar. Mm. Uh, yeah. I'm straight on that. I was like, fuck it, let me go ahead and eat this motherfucking steak. Get the motherfucker up out of here. Cause, Did you take I mean, it off on their tip? It wasn't the guy. It wasn't the, it wasn't the fucking uh, okay, bartender. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. The bartender okay. did real fucking good, dog. You know what I'm saying? I got a nigga $20 tip. Shit was $60. My bill was $60. Bucks. I got a nigga $20. Wow. That nigga You're a good said, tipper. He said, yo, what y'all want? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he went out there, and I was like, I want this, this, and this. He ain't writing nothing down. He's like, all right. Da, 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 da. Came out. The food came out quick. The drinks came out fast. Sally had a nice, strong drink. Two of them. He poured my beer good. Two of them. You think, you think if you would have wrote it down, it would have not came out well done? No, because he put it in. How you know? Oh, he, oh, it was on the receipt or whatever? Yeah, yeah you see it on the receipt. Damn. I can only Damn. It's, uh, it's like, definitely the kitchen. And I from that, that, that doesn't work. Yeah, and from uh, what uh, from my experience of like cooking steaks and shit like that, they were busy back there, and they probably put a press on my fucking steak because you could tell mm. it was sitting on the side for just a little bit too long. You know what I'm saying? Get that little. I like the little crust. You know, a little, a little charred crust. A little, get a little bit charred crust. Right, right, right. But come on, man. Why work at a steakhouse? Y'all niggas ain't cooking steaks right, man. Like every How time bad? I go get to your restaurant, stuck, man. I'll be wanting to go back there and cook. Because oh, I got damn, they have you don't fuck up something so simple, nigga. This is what you literally you work at a steakhouse. Yo. I thought you had to go through that, bro. All right, Frankie. That show was still good though. Map table, five. Right. <laughs> nice, <laughs> Frankie. You, you, the, my, my mom put on some uh, some meat on the uh, the crock pot last night. She made some barbacoa Oof. for the morning. Ooh. Yeah. So when we woke up. Well, when she woke up, everybody was up at like eight thirty, waiting waiting to eat. She got up at like ten thirty. Y'all niggas just smelling the house, boy. My dad's just mm. sitting in the couch, sitting on the couch watching TV, waiting. I'm going back and forth to use the restroom and showing like, "What you waiting for?" He's like, "Just for your mom to wake up so we can eat." <laughs> but uh, we just did that, and then we just watched uh, that without remorse. But with uh, is that shit good? That shit was pretty fire. I've heard by a lot but of people it, that shit was good, but it was all right. Like pretty fire, but all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Like the acting was fire, but you know the story was all right. Mm. Without remorse, is that a movie or a show? No, Without it's remorse, a movie. Yeah. it's a Tom Clancy. Tom is that a movie? Clancy. Yeah, it's a movie with Michael B. Jordan. It's on Amazon Prime. Mm. And it, you wouldn't vouch for it? I would. Yeah, it's a good movie. It's like John Wick, but Amazon version of it. I, I never watched John Wick. But I heard it's really Me neither. good. I never seen John Wick either, but I heard it's like fire, dog. Like John Wick is good, bro. You should from watch like John beginning Wick. to end, all of yes, them. Dog. All I heard of them like all good. three of them are good. If you like action sequences, then yeah, you should watch John Wick. I just don't like Keanu Reeves doing it though. Oh nah, he he come on. <laughs> really? You like the Matrix, bro? You like the Matrix? Who like the Matrix? You you didn't like the Matrix? <laughs> yeah, I've never watched the Matrix. But, it, but, but that Matrix is not like John Wick though. You can't you can't say that. Hey, come on, bro. Hey, but he ain't got the shades what? on with the with, with the trench coat. It ain't it. All right, yeah, but hey, it's still, you, he's got a suit on the watched, whole time. Yeah, the have you watched Constantine? Fresh. Constantine, that scary movie, the one uh, that that uh, he goes to hell and shit. Yeah, 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 bro, that one fucking crazy. I that remember one was crazy. There's one scene where they're in an apartment complex. They're inside of an apartment, and the motherfucking demon just come out. Rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> oh, there's the yeah. one where he makes it come into the mirror. That shit was crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when he gets it out of that girl. I don't know, bro. Like every every like ghost story reminds me of Homestead. 
Homestead got some what? creepy vibes. Like even when I went fishing remember, and like remember, certain places, like remember, you see like a haunted house across the street and whatnot. Mm, you're like, oh, like that's where Kukuya is, bro. Haunted house? Is it for real haunted, or you just think because it's a band? You just think it's haunted because it yeah, looks, you're right. You're yeah. right. Remember the Tia Betty's house? That trailer in the back of her house at nighttime? Oh no, sir. Uh, yo, uh, <laughs> shout out to Homestead, shout out to Lehigh, shout out to Naples, <laughs> High Point, Miami. What's up? Okay, point. I, I, nah, hey, I, I ended up doing some, some some shit. We got we got a lot of listeners in High Point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of homies listening out here, man. They be, they, you know, they be out here. I fuck, Why, high, high, <laughs> fuck, fuck High Point. Uh, <laughs> it depends on where at in High Point because High Point ain't shit. Not people from High Point tell you High Point ain't shit. Uh, oh, you mean like like High Point in general, not the people at High Point. Oh, well, like <laughs> not our fans in High Point, but the people. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and that makes I don't know, sense. Maybe, maybe our fans might be one of them niggas. You never, you never <laughs> they know. They hate listening. <laughs> but hey, if you listen, fuck anyway. with you though, shit. <laughs> But how are y'all feeling out in Ghana, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Poland? Are we even out there? Hey, that Polish uh, power, boy. What's happening? Nah, we got vibes in the Philippines, United Kingdom, India, South Africa. Now we ain't no, we ain't playing no motherfucking games, dog. That's that, that's what we do, boy. Uh, but uh, Mr. Wonka, on the other hand, we got like some other governments we can't really control, or like what? nobody can really control the fucking Chinese government. Damn. They're uh, they're launching a rocket this weekend, or they oh, launched one this weekend. Oh man! And they don't give a fuck where that debris lands. Like they just sent it off, and they're not really thinking about the repercussions of the stuff falling back. And they're just, ain't no way that they can't determine where that shit gonna land. Though, sorry, to cut you off. But no, yeah, I now. mean, United United States has a, a eye on it. Like they're they're keeping an eye on where it falls because China has the the thinking that. The world is what ninety five percent water, so it's like ninety five percent chance it's just gonna go in the water. Definitely not. It's definitely gonna hit something. <laughs> yeah, but they have to have some like trajectory, like markups, like where they think they it. Don't give a be- fuck. Hey, point that bitch nah, to the left don't. or to the right, so that bitch don't come straight down, nigga. That's <laughs> it. Hey, uh, that's- well, well, they think that it's either way. gonna go in the water or it's just gonna burn up in space and just vanish. That's what they're hoping for. It depends, right. yeah, because that's another thing. Like, how big is this thing? Because if it comes down from the atmosphere, that's just gonna drop super fast, dog. Is it catch on fire? Yeah, it'll probably, and, it'll probably explode by the time it hits the ground. Right, and that, that's what they're hoping for. But they said that last time that this happened, that China's done this, they found pieces in the jungle in Africa. So, well, I mean, it, it could just happen. The jungle? P- pieces in the jungle oh. at Africa. In Africa. In the jungle at Africa, or like is that at a, is at, that in the zoo at the Africa <laughs> setting? <laughs> or is no, that it, like it was in the jungle. In it was Africa. in the African jungle. Hey, look at that <laughs> shit! But uh, fuck it, but hey, yeah, uh, just be on the lookout. I mean, <laughs> yeah, if you see a meteor coming, back up. <laughs> maybe, maybe this be podcast will be out after. But uh, that you're gonna hit today. Tried to warn you, or maybe condolences to the families. That... <laughs> condolences. Why are you always hey, sorry, think, like the negative, bro? Why you got? What did that shit land in the water, dog? Sorry, you didn't and make it. It does, but I mean, this episode is gonna come out tomorrow, so well, like maybe you taking away the news from our, is gonna our, be out. Yeah, you're taking away from our shit, our content next. Nah, week. I'm a forward you know, thinker, bro. Saying, I'm, I'm just a saying, forward thinker, dog. You saying all this shit? We can say we can You're say a foreign next week. thinker. I'm a foreign thinker. You say for next week. Oh, but uh, my my dad, I was having a conversation with him. Uh, he wants a podcast? He like, uh, maybe. Uh, I, don't do I don't know. Uh, but he was all excited about the NFTs because he had mentioned it. We had mentioned it before. And he was like, man, like, there's going to be an NFT arena, son. There's uh, I don't know that the, is, the, 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 the AAA, the NFTs that remember I told you that the uh, it's like the digital trading card yeah like the like people are buying the digital trading cards like the 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 lebron replay and like people are selling the nfts for now we 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 went through this no yeah nft non trying that was a while ago what does nft mean a non-transfundable token or something like that a non-fundable token it's a it's basically it's like what mike does yeah, but online I think, version of it. Yeah, I think Mike has a few digital, Mike digital uh, cards. 
Oh no, he has the cards in person, then sends them out. Oh no, this, this is no, like this is like the this, actual card. It's like if uh you know the the fucking like a serious moment, like when Kyrie shot that three. Like a LeBron Kyrie. rookie card. No, like like LeBron fucking dunking on somebody. Like oh, somebody it's only crazy. moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, oh, okay, okay. Like, so oh. moments. It's like a clip. Like Jordan shot and, and, at the yeah, you the own that okay. shit. Okay. Yeah, you own that that replay. Or oh, it's a whole moment. clip. Yeah, you get the, right. Like, there's clips. There's like fe- like pictures. Hey, you people release album. Yeah, people release albums. Like Currency just released the album like two weeks ago. He sold it for five hundred dollars. And you, the, the interesting thing about the NFTs is you could set up a royalty percentage. So if you sell it for five hundred dollars. Every time that person sells it for like for a thousand dollars, that person gets ten percent. Uh, like currency gets ten percent of every time you sell that album. And that so, goes away, and that takes away from my money. Let's say I got it, that takes away from me. That's the tax. Well, I mean, you're gonna get money no matter what, but it's just better for the for the artists now because before artists they depend on the labels and their royalty wasn't really there and whatnot, but now they could release their own album and get their actual uh their fair payment from it but is that fair though yeah like I mean, okay let's say i sell, I sell a, yeah 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 but for the person like let's say i sell i sell my own five hundred dollars you know and the other niggas sell that shit for five thousand dollars you know what i'm saying right but i still get ten percent of that five thousand the original owner me no you you sold it that's what i'm saying I mean, the, it, the it, it, it's up to you. Like, if you want to keep it and just let it build up value, then you can let it build up value. But, yeah, but once I sell, I sell. That shit ain't got nothing to do with me no more. Right, right. You sold it. But I mean, you just it's, said, but you just so, said so it's every like, time he sell, the other person sells it for a thousand dollars, you get ten percent of it. It's it's best for the artist. It's best for the person that that's making the. So the that's artist. what I'm saying. I make an album and I sell it for five hundred. Right. You sell it My, for five hundred dollars. And then every time the next person sells it, the next person first sells it for six hundred dollars. You get the artist gets ten percent every that time. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. So like, oh. if I sell it for five hundred, somebody sells it for five thousand, I get ten percent of that five thousand or five or what? I, yes, yes. For hmm. the rest of your life, every time it sells, that's fire. So you don't you, God, didn't, you didn't really fully sell it because it's still making you income. Yes, yes, yes. But you just can't go and take it because it's not yours. So yeah, like and they compared it to like a Mona Lisa. Like a Mona Lisa, there's like a thousand Mona Lisas out there, but there's only one original one. And that one original one, is, that's that's the that's the NFT. That's the money right there. Right. So, so the devil was saying shit crazy. Right. Well, he was saying that there's that the AAA, the American Airlines Arena, turned into the NFT arena. And uh, American <laughs> Airlines no more. Yeah, I had to do some research, but he, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, he's just a little confused. It's called the <laughs> FTX <laughs> repo, Arena. Boy. But uh, I, I thought it was cool because... Oh, they changed their name? What is it now? The FTX Arena. The American Airlines? But, it's not American Airlines anymore? Yeah, it's called the FTX. They bought the naming. And what the they're going to be... They're going to start uh, renovating everything. Because I don't know if you heard, but Miami is now like the hub of Bitcoin. Like Miami, the mayor, he's trying to stay ahead of the curve of technology and whatnot. So he... Got, I don't know if he did it or if it was his idea, but pretty sure he approved it that uh, they're making that like kind of a cryptocurrency stadium or arena. Like they, fully they, crypto? Yeah, I, I don't know that like full details haven't uh, you can't, emerged. Not, not many people have crypto and you can't force somebody to give up the US dollar for crypto, nigga. But what, what me and my dad were talking about was that what if he... Uh, like eventually, there's gonna be NFT players, like and what I, what I mean is NFT players, like this frame right here, it will be a screen and you could play the NFT on the screen, so it'll be an NFT player, and I feel like Miami out of anybody could be ahead of the game and put a bunch of Miami Heat NFTs all in their stadium. Ray Allen, and, step back three, bang, and and be and be ahead of the game. Like they had their first transparent screen on their on their stadium, like on, on like on the outside. Like I'm sure they could come up with like an NFT arena. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, but this shit confusing, bro. 
It's it, it's kind of like futuristic. Shit. It's futuristic, bro. No, bro. I ain't ready for that shit. Mm. And do it. Oh, let's get into the show, yo. I ain't ready for that shit. What the fuck? I can't spend no money over there. Why? What do you mean? You said there, there there's you know, there, there's a there's Bitcoin ATM, so you could, I ain't got it, but I ain't got Bitcoin. No, so yeah, you don't got Bitcoin, so you go to the ATM and you get Bitcoin. I put money in to get money out. To get Bitcoin, it's gonna be like a one-on-one like, ratio, it's like or... a currency exchange. Yeah, it's like when you go to to uh, Chuck E. Cheese. The foreign country. Oh no! no yeah, when you go to Chuck E. Yeah, Cheese and you say, get yeah, yeah, and you get that and you get tokens. I know you talking about. Yeah. yeah, we we. But <laughs> yeah, if I put a hundred dollars, am I getting a hundred tokens? Nah, it's so like nah. You getting ninety five bucks? Nah. Look like I'm look for a new team, man. I, mean, I guess. <laughs> Looks like he's a Hornets fan now. Looks like hey, on the this, Charlotte this Hornets. Is, this is all a uh, conspiracy, to well, be no, honest. Well, this is I'm not a theory. financial advisor, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, like as like, he's wearing a Miami Heat jersey. This is more like just rumors. So, uh, the just the way that it looks like uh, Miami's mayor is progressing towards crypto and shit like that. I just wouldn't be surprised if that's that's in the future. Uh, mm. But before we start. Let me just knock out this commercial. Yo, get your memories. <laughs> Let me uh, get your memory. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't. You can't. Get your. Get your. Get your. Wait, can I start? Is that your cue? <laughs> right? Yeah, I mute myself. I'm gonna be smiling and laughing. I want you to see my face, bro. Get your memory strength up with Audible. I'm reading this book called Limitless by Jim Quick that teaches you how to properly hydrate your brain. It has exercises to improve your memory and recipes for brain foods and more. You'll have access to this book and more on Audible for a limited time. Click the link below and claim two free audiobooks. If you don't do this, you're playing up stupid. Now let's just start the show. Boom. Now, what's up? What's up, guys? This is your boy, Crispy. We got Ozzy G on the other side. Frankie J is... Definitely in the motherfucking place. How am I? How am I guys doing today on this lovely Mother's Day? First and foremost, Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there, all the single mamas out there, all the mamas out, you know, mamas, mamas, baby mamas, mamas. Yep. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Everything good in the hood, like everything should be. That's it. No come on. No suicide. Only good vibes. Oof. Mm. Bow. Mm. Mm. Is that a Juice World bar? No, nah, but it sounds like it, right? <laughs> Suicide. Too early, too early. <laughs> we are recording on May 9th, a Sunday night. It is 8.20 p.m. currently. So forgive me if this episode come out a little late. But let's jump right into America's Therapy. A little segment that, that we have on Irrational Therapy. Y'all, y'all, y'all fuck with, with Stranger Things? I love it. <coughs> you love it? I love it. <coughs> I bow with it. Well, Stranger Things just came out with the trailer for season four. Nah. It didn't really reveal too much, but my thing is, y'all ready for that shit? Or as it yeah, came along? with it. I'm, I'm not. I'm fucking with it. I actually scrolled past that bitch yesterday on Netflix. And oh, I season, like, season three? It said season four officially announced. I wonder where they're gonna take it though. Like, what's the storyline even gonna be like? There's a bunch of places that they could take it because they they still haven't shined upon ten and nine and eight. Like, we only fuck with eleven. Like all her other like siblings, right? Or like right. The other, their numbers, experiments. Right. So they did that like there's... one time, but like, and it was only like one girl, I think. Right. Wait, I think it was in season. I think it was the beginning of season two. Yeah, that like, she like meets her sister or whatever. That there was a, a, a chick that flipped the, the car or whatever. Yeah, she could like mess with your mind. You yeah, I got to No. Oh, it was season a, three then. It got to be season three. Yeah, yeah. I think it is season three. To be honest, I got to rewatch the shit. But I know there's a, a bunch of places that they could take it. But the thing is, is that Eleven, she doesn't look like a little kid anymore. So it's well, like, it, do, it doesn't look right. 
Like, if you I watch mean, it from season one to season four, they were going like, bro, we, you grow I know up, Chris. I know it's sad. Why? It's not that they're progressing Why? with the age. I'm not like, saying, no, nah, I'm not saying it's sad. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that they didn't uh, film it when it when they were around the same age because now it just looks it doesn't look right like from like if how can i put it i don't know i don't know what you're saying but it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't it match said up. years later like from from one and two it said a different year than the last time this one's gonna say a different year than the last time right the way about- that i see it the way that i see it is like they're in the trailer it looks like they're going back in time to how 11 became 11 and so it's gonna look so weird. Else, did they show eleven? What if it's like a, like a make believe eleven? Damn serious. An actual, an actual boy. It. A boy. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it'll, I, I, I'm just, I'm <coughs> curious to see how it's gonna work out, because I don't, I'm not gonna dig it if eleven doesn't look like a little kid and we're going back in time. I, I don't know. It's gonna be weird. Oh uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but Resident Evil came out with a new game called Resident Evil Village. Oof. I'm kind of, I'm interested. In, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't played it yet. I seen Yo, a, I seen a trailer. There's a Resident Evil free game on the Game Pass, Frankie. It's called Resident Evil Biohazard. Oof. Is it fire? Scary, bro. Jesus yeah, I got that Christ. game on VR. You can play uh, multiplayer. Yeah. The uh, the uh, uh, Biohazard. Yeah. Yeah, I got Biohazard on. On, on VR, that shit's sick, bro. Did you play it? Yeah, I I, I beat it on VR. Like, I, have you beat it's it? The yet? Same thing, nah, not yet. But I was like that first scene where that bitch crawl up the stairs, bro. Ooh, I, I, I'm not a big fan of that one, but it's still good. Like I was, I screamed, bro. So I imagine you in the VR. <laughs> the VR gets you a headache after like two hours. Yeah, I bet because everything's right. There. They they tell you not to be so close to the screen when you was a little kid. And here we are, fucking years later, VR face, fucking screen right yeah. in our fucking face, dog. It's sad. <laughs> yeah, uh, you heard about you heard about Snow White. Snow White. Snow yeah. White ride and stop operation after complaint. I'm smoking, oh, Siri. It. Chill. This said breathe. I'm smoking. Nigga. I gotta hold this bitch in. What you talking about? Nah, that, that's so sweet, bro. Like. We get reminded to breathe and whatnot. What would we do? Which is that, fucking though? retarded, though. You think <laughs> you breathing? Bro? What? Snow White stopped its ride in Disney because a prince kisses Snow White without her consent while she's sleeping. No, dog. No way, bro. <laughs> I mean, dog, we, we didn't get her permission. Oh she she would have. She wanted to remain dead. Did bro? <laughs> she wasn't dead, Chris. She was asleep. <laughs> well, she even worse. He he had no permission. Did they see the rest Just, of the fucking story? Did they see the rest of the movies? She happy she after that. Movies. <laughs> She's happy. Happy. I don't know, bro. She wrote the song "Happy for Pharrell" back in the day. <laughs> Well, they they're, they're canceling the ride. They might be adjusting the movie. Maybe the next movie that will be real life will be uh, having a different script. I don't and know. They're gonna cancel Johnny Bravo here soon. <laughs> so well, yeah, we haven't had new episodes in years. <laughs> but uh, uh, soon we're, we're we're gonna need consent to. Well, actually, I think they said that we technically need consent to perform CPR. Bro, so, the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> Like oh you're dying and you can't breathe but can I can I give you CPR? Can I try to say thumbs it? up thumbs oh, up thumbs up? She didn't she didn't say anything. <laughs> you gotta yeah gotta, gotta, gotta let it go. go. Yep gotta go. All right. Maybe that's what she wants. It's oh, it's man. uh my choice my body. Oh yeah. Or something like my body my choice. <laughs> oh y'all some bitches. My temple. <laughs> if y'all feel like this is what y'all like to do and this is what y'all talking about, y'all some whole ass niggas and some. Yeah we. We got that side of America, and then we got the actual serious side of America. Three people ended up getting shot at the Aventura Mall last uh, yesterday. Uh, just shout out to, to the family. Shout out to uh, everybody that needs prayers and condolences to those people that got shot. Uh, Pop Smoke was in the headlines yesterday. I didn't want to bring it up because I thought it was uh, unfortunate news. 
But at the same time, like it, it is important that we shed light on yeah, seen stupid that, shit that goes on in, in, in hip hop. Uh, Pop Smoke Shooter was 15 years old. Mm. Frank, Frankie, what, what, what else? What else this motherfucker had? What? Oh, he looked like that boy. Pop Smoke. <laughs> Pop like Smoke Shooter. Smoke that pop crack. What? Are <laughs> what? Pop Smoke Shooter, yo. Oh, that they they snuck up on him while he was in the shower. So just think about like he just he's just taking a shower, bro. He's just vulnerable. He ain't got nothing. He's just chilling. Taking Cleaning his ass, bro. That's not what he said in the songs. Though he said he keep that thing on him no matter where he at. Hey, <laughs> but what song uh, yeah, was that? Hey. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, well, I know he said it though. That he was oh no, I know. Yeah, he was like, "Got it on me." Uh, 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 I got uh, it that on, thing yeah. on me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, nah, that's that's wild though. I was telling Frankie that's like that's a pretty vulnerable position to go. Like, there's three places I wouldn't ever think myself of getting shot at, and that's taking a shit in a shower and doing laundry. Like, those are uh, three things I'm like, I didn't see, but. See some movies with shit go down laundromats, nigga. Shit. Yeah. Laundromats, no, yeah, laundromats definitely. But if you're at your own place doing laundry, like just separating, separating colors and shit, <laughs> like somebody just cut <laughs> oh, like shit, dog. And, God, was I doing laundry? Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> but die. Um. All, all, all for two thousand dollars. All for a two thousand dollar rolling. Yeah, I mean, it, people are dumb if they think. People that are rappers and stuff walk around with money daily. That's mm-hmm. not the fucking case, though. If they're walking around with money, they're heavily guarded and have like with security. Yeah, I do, think. Do you think I, I don't walk around with was, money, nigga? And I ain't got no money, nigga. So but do you think this was more than? Card. Do you think this was more than just the rolling? Like, do you think there was actual hit on him and shit? You were fifteen years old, bro. Probably don't know no fucking better. Maybe he was trying to get made. I mean, if you look at it, he was three years older. I mean, three years younger than Pop Smoke. How old was Pop Smoke? Was he 18? Nah, I think he was like... Oh, he was probably like 20. Nah, I think it was 20. Yeah. But... It... Oh, man, that's just sad, bro. Mm, probably a nigga from, one, from his own old dog. Ah, rest in peace, Pop Smoke. It really be clout. If, if you ain't know, Jesus died at 33. So did Pimp C and so did Nip C. Did you he know that? 20. Did you know nope. that? Jesus died at 33, so did Pimp C, so did Nip C. Uh. Bro, why is he so lyrical? Because he ain't got nothing to do. Kathy, answer us. Why is he so lyrical? Oh, matter of fact, 
Oh no, Kathy trying to be hey, out here. Hey, entourage. She trying to be <laughs> out here at uh after the J Cole album drop. So let's do it, Kathy. <laughs> nah, that, that that shit was uh um now that I, I love that fucking song. Like you love it or are you just I like that? But uh but what, uh, no, what, what's I love up? It. where your boy at? You like it. Where your boy at? Oh, where is he? One, 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 one subject at a time, bro. So nah Kung this, Fu Kenny. The, this this J. Cole project. I, I think this shit gonna be flames. I think I hope, I hope it's not like what he just did though. I hope the whole album not like that. You're saying you ain't fucking with it. No, nah, I don't want the whole album to be like that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. What else you know what I'm saying? Do? I want to hear. I want to hear J Cole, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? That storytelling type shit. But you know, not not the hype. The hype beat. You know how J Cole got him slow beats, but he be he be talking. Did yeah, you enjoy you know KOD? Yeah, uh, it was definitely different. That was his first different like wave that he started. That he started doing. It I didn't like. Different. I didn't like for your eyes only. I thought that was my first, like, eh. It was all right. <laughs> it was all right. It was deep. It was deep. You think it was deep? Yeah. You think fo- folding clothes is deep? I think uh, the meaning behind the songs is deep. Uh, like behind everything, behind the whole album itself. For the person he wrote it for and everything he did. I mean, I'm not. I read it the first, I think the first time when it dropped. I think I read that shit like when it first dropped, and I was I didn't go into like deep into it, but Kathy will tell you shit. <laughs> Kathy let you I, know. Boy. I probably have to. <laughs> it's funny because like I, I had shared a meme on the story, on on our Instagram story, and it said how how J Cole fans interpretate and in, interpret. How you say it? interpretate? <laughs> interpret. <laughs> interpret is that? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm missing a syllable. In, Inter- anyways, interpretate. Interpretate. No, it's just interpret. And whatever. How they whatever you say that shit. <laughs> whatever. How they interpret the 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 lyrics. <laughs> whatever, yo. Uh <laughs> that I think it was a it was like perfect, a dog. perfect. You're amazing. So now that how how they just overanalyzed the, the lyrics and uh so that's why I asked you as soon as we jumped on here. Did you like it because because it was good, or did you like it because it was a J Cole fan? Yeah, and and, uh, and and you know that motherfucker drop. Chris, what was your interpretation of it? Ooh, that's the way. Interpretation. 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 Um, my interpretation of it was. <laughs> you sound good, bro. You was sound really good. good. So. It, it met my expectations. I put it like that. Like I, I, I've been disappointed before by Kendrick. I've been all the time for the by, past three years. Cole. You have to calm down. Ooh, for the past three uh, I've been, years. I've been disappointed by J Cole, and this Oof. this one was it, it. It made it was the reason why I'm a J Cole fan. Let's put it like that. Like it was different. It, it was it was a different beat. Like the beat was was knocking. The beat but threw me off, dog. The whole the, the beat threw it, me. Off. I didn't expect the beat. That. Yeah, it was very all over the place. But at mm. the same time, I felt like he made it work. He rolled um, that bitch so right, dog. No homo. Pause or how flow. you say pause, yo, big yeah. pause. Well, uh, the, the, pause. <laughs> the flow was on point. Uh, I'm not even. He didn't even have a, a hook. It was, it was an interlude lyrics. He had a standout bar. Lyrics, Everything was good. Words. I can't complain. There was a beat. Now I he he didn't he didn't like try to jump on the little pump flow or like the X X extension. But he's flow never or been something. like that. He's never been like that. And that's that, that's him. that's why that's why I like him because he's him. Like he's his own exactly like person. I just hope the album's good. Me I hope too. this leads because that's a good song. It can't, you know what I'm saying? So he said he said a bar. It reminds me of a motivate somewhat. Motivate, 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 uh. uh, uh. Motivate. Yeah, I guess, but it's a different, like a different tone though. 
it's it was, a different message or whatnot, yeah, but like yeah, the yeah, vibes yeah. that it gives out, it, it reminds me of like a motivate. The thing I loved about KOD, and I, I felt like it was so courageous, was that he dropped like an anti-drug album on 420. Did you notice that? No. Like, do you see KOD as like an anti-drug album? Yeah, that's what, it, that's what he made for. That's what he made it for. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. And he yeah. dropped it on 420. That's what's up. And you know yeah. what I was doing? Smoking, listening to that shit. <laughs> Chilling. They say heaven is in my state. I've been a couple times. Oh, man. I, I love that song. Uh, Big Uzi Vert. My dog, Ozzy, wanted to talk about this. Uh, he he uh, was on the magazine with Young Miami <laughs> with uh, some pumps on. Yeah, dog. That nigga look tall as fuck, dog. <laughs> First of all, this the shit look photoshopped. That even look like Lil Uzi Vert body, dog. That shit, For real, it is. That even look like Lil Uzi Vert in general. Yeah, it look like big Uzi Vert. You know what I'm talking about, nigga? <laughs> Die. <laughs> How much you paying oh, this girl to be with him, bro? Mean? What do you mean? Thirty what stacks. Mean? What do you mean, big, big Uzi Vert? Did you see the picture? Yeah. Frank, that nigga swollen than you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga swole. Hey, come on. You see Lil Uzi Vert, you don't think that nigga swole like that, and especially not six ten. That's how you look right there in that picture. Yeah, he's like four or five, I think. And my, and little little who that little Uzi Miami? <laughs> yeah, she's like four two. <laughs> he way taller. So huh? what's going on? Lil <laughs> Uzi Miami. <laughs> Man, how tall is this fool, bro? He over here hide and seek. I thought he, to be honest, they, they they have to be the same height. To be honest, damn. So she, he was wearing her shoes for real. Nah, that's crazy. What, 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 what do you mean to be honest? You're about to say some crazy shit. Yeah, I thought Lil Uzi Vert would kind of, you know. So you saying Young Miami's a trans? Oh, what the fuck, Chris? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, nah, I thought Lil Uzi Vert was homosexuals. Right, right, right. 5'4". Wow. You see, everything adds up. The height, the fucking, his style. What's his girl's name? Lil Miami Uzi Vert. Young, young Miami. Oh, <laughs> I was like, who? Young, young Miami has to be like 5'2", at least. And he looked significantly taller, though. He's 5'7". Oh, <laughs> He was standing on top of something. <laughs> she was bent over. Bro, I don't, I don't believe in that. I don't, I don't believe she's five seven. Then again, why, seven. Chris? Why you believe she's taller than you, dog? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, uh, yeah, she has to be five seven. She's at like one hundred and twenty-one oh, oh, okay. pounds. So she's she's squatted a little bit. All right. Uh, <laughs> Look at him, dog. Bro, he is. It looks photoshopped, bro. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. No, yeah. I I, I totally agree. No, yeah. I just didn't. That's a, the two different answers. No, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a Miami no. term. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is you saying, though? Uh, but, yeah, you, you did want to talk about the GOAT. So, yeah, uh, oh, yeah. Isaiah Rashad so, no, ended yeah. up dropping Lay With You. I heard it was garbage. Not, not Kendra Lamar. You heard it was garbage? Yeah. You didn't even listen to that? it. Was it garbage? No. Nah. Was it was it underwhelming? Was it, it everything was, you, it, was it everything it's you expected the reason why anymore? I, it's I the reason know. why it's the reason why I'm a Isaiah Rashad fan.
So that is a little sample, sample, sample. Uh, so what my honest opinion of this shit right here? <laughs> or yeah, what's your honest opinion? Sure. Your honest opinion? The, beat, trash. the beat is beautiful, though. That beat is disgusting. Everything was good until he started rapping. Ah. <laughs> until like okay. he started coming in. Just... I feel like the delivery should have been a little bit more different, but who the fuck am I? I'm no financial advisor or no in my position. <laughs> so whatever. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I opinion, hear you. No? Like, you can have an opinion. This is yeah, I, 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 I definitely like the beat, and I definitely feel like it has potential, like for sure. Like I'm going to listen to it again. I added it to my songs and shit, but because uh, that beat is crazy, bro. Yeah. But Kendrick's still a bitch. And he <laughs> <is fucking. laughs> Uh, I, I enjoyed it. it. It was a, it was a little wild time whenever they, they promoted it because there was the, they put that timing out mm -hmm. and they went on Instagram live and they kind of performed the song mm -hmm. in like a Valley in California or oh, to be honest, I don't even know where it was, but they, they started like a, like a, like a tiny concert. Like it was probably like 20 people. I checked back like an hour later. It was a whole fucking valley filled, and like they just, just pulled the fuck that up. Song. Yeah, that shit was cool. Like, right. like it, it just reminds me of shit that TDE does. Like, every time I went to a TDE concert, they they just look out for the fans. It's it's weird, but it's. It, what do you mean? What did Kendrick do? Uh, actually, I think that's like the first concert that I didn't really feel. I didn't really feel like it. But when I went to Schoolboy Q and Isaiah Rashad wow. concerts, like I just felt like I was in TDE, like like Word? the TDE members were like Did in the jacket? in the crowd, nah. But the TDE members were in the crowd, like like bumping with yeah, you and yeah. shit like that, and it was cool. Did you get a but in, in well, the Kendrick Lamar, I think in, well in the Kendrick Lamar concert, he's a he's a mega star, so he had his own arena. A little, uh, little bit, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, you froze, bro. Oh shit. Well, no, no, no. You was like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> no, anyway, yeah. yeah, but I think I think it's different because Kendrick Lamar is a, like the mega superstar, like you said. Right. Oh, you know, he sells out a whole fucking arena, and Isaiah Rashad and them don't really, you know, you take it to like a little park, like you know, right. like, high size park and shit. Right. I think that's yeah. the difference in the in, in the shit. Because I mean, people at a park probably more chilling people inside of an arena. To be real, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, because like you're closer for sure at a park. Man, because at the arena, there's so many gates. The thing with Isaiah Rashad's concert, you couldn't smoke, and I hated that shit. Why couldn't you smoke? It, it, it was in a it was in a in a venue, and so, every yeah. and every time someone sparked up, they'll put the spotlight on that person, and the security would come and escort you out. Oh word, bro! It was the wackest shit, but it was still fun. Like but, Greensboro Coliseum, I smoked there for the Chance of Rapper concert. Yeah, concert at Charlotte Hornet Stadium, the Spectrum Center. Yeah, yeah, I smoked in all my concerts, but that concert, I uh, that was whack. Yeah, Chris I, Brown concert, I smoked too. You went to a Chris Brown concert? Yeah, uh, yeah, nigga, silly, silly, want to go, and I went. That shit was fire, dog. I they believe were, it. Uh, I, uh, Rich the Kid was there. <laughs> uh, her was there before she blew up. Her. Oh, really? Yeah, I seen her perform. Yeah. Um. And the Chris Brown was fire. I seen Chris Brown on on Title. I watched uh, his Title performance. You got Title? No. Uh, it's it's a streaming platform. Oh no. Like uh, like Apple Music, but they have concert footage and all this and all that. Oh, that's fire. Yeah. You know what this is fire? I'm fun all right, carry after this motherfucker, yo. This song just came out. Who is that? This can't be a real song, bro. I'm about to leave this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm let it off. I'm going to let Who it is off. Okay. Who is that? This new rapper, man, eh, whatever. This Y2K. It's, it's YTK or whatever. He just put this, this shit out two days ago. It, it, it's a it's upcoming, but uh, I, it, there's a trend out. 
that they're getting older songs, like older pop songs, and flipping it to like some gangster shit. Like the original no more. Shit crazy. And uh like did, did you hear that other song with uh making my way downtown walking? No, nah, and I don't want to though, because they Jesus they re- that, that song that song's pretty big that over here. You heard that song, right, Frankie? Yeah. What what what's it called? It's young and ace, I think, ain't it? Yeah, well what what uh I forget how it goes. Uh well, but yeah. I mean I, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda catchy. It is and catchy. and um the main thing behind these songs, dog, is that they're just killing people, bro. Who it's is like, it's who, the who most. I smoke. It's called Who I Smoke. Yeah. Who I Smoke. And dun, 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 who I Smoke. Dun, 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 dun. But like these, these kids are actually like killing people. <laughs> Sound like T Grizzly. Don, nah, this music video, he's over here like just in a in a golf outfit, like him and his boys in a golf outfit. It's terrible. Anyways, yeah. So this is the latest trend. Uh, Mariah Carey ain't putting up with the bullshit. She said, "You got 24 hours to talk to my lawyers." You ain't you, you ain't fucking with that shit, huh? Who? The Mark Harris shit? Nah, well, nah, this new trend. No, nah, man, hell no. Nah. They ain't original. Be original. The fuck? What's you gonna take a female song, bro? A female What's original. Song? What do you mean original? You know what original is? Nah. Like, don't copy somebody else's beat, bro. Don't why well, you gotta get somebody else's song and jump on it. Why not clout? make your own beat? J. Cole did it. Make your own shit and ride out. Jake ride out. What, what he did a Mario Carey song? He did a Pablo uh Paula Adu song. That he was the same Ka- beat. He did he did Kanye West song. That the same beat? Work out for me, work out for me. But I'm saying that was the same beat he did though. No, I'm sure I'm sure he Not sampled all, right. I'm sure he sampled a few songs. But I, I mean, I mean, there, there's a bunch of people that that sample songs. Yeah, you know, mixtapes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I don't I think mean, nobody's this, ever sampled. This isn't, this isn't like a single. This is just a, a underground song. But I don't think nobody fucking samples the whole entire song. Like each and every tune I, I, I feel, and every I feel beat. What you mean. J Cole did it actually. He did that what? album of the year. What? Album of the year. But well, anyways, that's not the point. I, I I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Be, be just, original. This sounds whack. Yeah, you, you're probably you're probably not feeling the the beat so, choice. So so you tell them you're gonna you're gonna run you gonna you ride down the street bumping that shit. Who I smoke? I would. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, terrible, dog. We shouldn't even be talking about these niggas, bro. Why? <laughs> Why are you giving these it's niggas just, fucking shine, bro? They they trash, bro. What 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 did they say that stood out to you? Oh, I smoke. Uh, it's catchy. Oh, I smoke. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's catchy because I, I, I'm you not know gonna the, I'm not gonna lie. The real song. I probably exactly. Uh, that's, that's the only why it's cat. That's the only reason why it's catchy. Because what is he saying? Nothing. It's probably the 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 humor factor behind it that. I, 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 yeah, I find it humorous. I don't find it serious, but uh, yeah, mm. I, I, I just that's yeah. terrible. That's You're serious terrible. about it, huh? What about what? You can't stand that shit. Well, you can't stand stupid, music. Bro. Look, look how dumb it is. Look how dumb that shit is, and look how like, like how much like people like you will give them clout, like give them respect for it. That shit's stupid. But what's wrong with that? What do you mean? They're making money off people like you, dog. But what's wrong with that? (laughs) They're not watching our. They're not watching our shit. But there are people watching our shit. Not that nigga. There's a reason why people are watching our shit because I'm watching other people's shit. If other people like, I'm watching so much shit that I'm gathering information on to give the people that listen to us. So I mean, if these people weren't here, 
the, for me to talk about, then those people wouldn't be there for us to, for them to listen. That shit wet, nigga. <laughs> and yeah, and that's that. That's I think that's the point of the podcast. Like, like, and, and that's the beauty behind uh, opinions that you you could you could hate that shit, and I could love that shit. I don't hate it because I love the I love the original song. <laughs> you love the original song more than yeah. that song. What the fuck? You'd rather what, listen to the original song saying? than that song. Yeah, for sure. Because because I I'd was thinking to about Kendrick this. Than that, bro. No, because I was. No, 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 no. I was thinking about this seriously. No, no, no. That, <laughs> <laughs> seriously, that. Uh, what if I could remake R. Kelly song so we could listen to it? And Joe Budden has said this that like I, I could remake um um Step in the Name of Love or whatever. And that, cause like people can't listen to R. Kelly right now, because because he's canceled or whatever. I'm saying like in this day of age, they I say that the R. Kelly's girl, canceled. I'm, home today. I'm, I'm saying in general, R. Kelly's canceled, and and majority of people's mind, so they don't really listen to him. But if you put like if a person like Joe Budden jumps on on a song and covers it, he be like, oh okay, I can listen to it now because it's Joe Budden. It's not going to R. Kelly or whatever. I don't think I'll listen but to it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't listen to it. I'll, I'm gonna do that shit. I think, yeah, I think that's what makes money. Like getting old shit that has a bad rep on it, and or old shit that has a good rep on it and making it bad, or shit that has a bad rep on it making it good. I had this song called I. One of my favorite songs is Only Sixteen, and I just like the the melody behind it, but. It goes, she's only 16. She was only 16. But it's like about when, when they were 16 or whatever, and she was only 16 and she didn't really find love, or whatever. I was like gonna twist it and like she's got a flat ass. Anyways, um so <laughs> you're talking, you talking about a little girl, an underage girl. What? No, uh that's what the that's what the song was infamous for. And what you're gonna and, talk about. And I could flip it saying, she's got a flat ass. She's got a flat ass. And like not- Are you, are you cor- going to say age in there? Because people who know the no, song- No, I'm not going to say age. I don't know, I'm, but gonna, I'm saying, but people who gonna know be the a- song are going to be like, wait, this girl from this song was no. 16. What I was like, really thinking about was just putting on like a TikTok and like just throw mm. the melody. Like and like, kind of just put like a a slideshow of girls with flat asses, thinking that they have big asses. So you're gonna be out there in in this day and age taking pictures of flat asses. Not me taking pictures. They already took pictures. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, that I'm gonna just like Google flat asses and like chicks that are twerking or whatever. I'm gonna just save it and then put it as a slideshow. I'm like, she's got a flat ass, and she really thinks it's fat, but really it's flat, but. Anyways, this yeah, it, 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 it sounds better in my head, so I'm gonna just keep it there. <laughs> oh man, bro, uh, people are worried about you, Chris. That's fine. Like, I got a, I got a message. Hey, yeah, Brian, Florida, nigga, Throw business, little dog, with your throat slit. My nigga went flawless, you don't think that I know yet. I really yeah. like the pool, I see water in my roller. I peel the food for that. Yeah. Yeah. If I send a bitch, I forget, bro, you getting hit, stick, yo. Yeah. SG slide and climb, you know that I real stick. You know that I real stick. I be damned if I let a nigga slide me. I'm gliding with a pool, gotta watch who behind me. You know why I rip a bitch, quit top notch, done, done, straight slaughter me a bitch. I'ma show you how to rip this stick. Jump out, hit him hard, shit in of the stick. Cut through, but I ain't cut who I'm eating with. Same way, I ain't fucking who I'm sleeping with. These souls, bitch, I'm stepping for none. New pole, got it dirty for none. How you love me when I cross me for none? I ain't a monster, count the horse, so I don't stop. <laughs> dog, Kodak was <laughs> in the headlines. My dog, that was Rip Stick featuring Pooh Shiesty and Psycho Bob. Hey, that's how you, you pronounce it. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, you, hit that. You, said, you said I had a. A message? People concerned? They said, what's up with your boy? Ozzy. Hmm. Are we on mute? Who? Y'all were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to check it off. 
I will listen to that sorry ass song. You, Hell no. You said, shit. you said we got a, a, a you had a message? I'm looking people, for it. People were, were worried I'm about looking me. For it. I'm looking for it. For real, for real? People were worried? Yeah. Was it, was it family? Yeah. Uh, no, it wasn't. That'd be all right. Oh. 25 minutes into this week's podcast. And Edward, your brother's a pedophile, man. And he's into some real kinky shit. Wants to be tied up like a dog. What the fuck? (laughs) (laughs) He did say, I mean, go listen to Nelly's son's new song. That shit is fuego. (laughs) Final warning. Yeah. That shit is fun. I'm just glad. Yeah. Like, we just joke around. Like, I am not a pedophile. Fuck (laughs) y'all. Ah, fuck (laughs) y'all. I know we're just joking and shit, but nah, fuck y'all. Who we should be worried about is this psycho motherfucker, this this Kodak black guy wanting to take shots of Hennessy. Uh, Hennessy is is Cardi B's sister. Uh, Kodak black. Uh, So, all right. Can I get that Kodiak? Yeah, so so Hennessy posted this one picture and Kodak Black uh, like message or kind of like little put a little comment on on the bottom of it and say, "Yo, I I, I want to eat that until until you until you die, something like that oh to that extent." And uh, excessive. Hennessy has a girlfriend called Mellow Rex. Hennessy's Rex. a lesbian. Kodak has a uh, obsession with. Lesbians apparently like last time he tried to turn out young MA. What? That's what he said. So he didn't try to kill him? No, turn out like oh. trying to smash young MA. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. She didn't try to kill him. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh I know I know you're you're not a, a big fan of Kodai Black already, Ozzy. Does this make you hate him even more? For what? I don't hate him. I just don't like his music. I don't care about him. What 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 do you think about him constantly antagonizing uh the sexuality of women? Like him constantly saying like getting at them very explicitly, but they're obviously a lesbian. You got the power to speak your mind, bro. Say whatever you want. Donald mm. Trump say you grab a woman by the pussy. Mm. And that's it. Amen, brother. Trump, 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 Trump. Amen, brother. Amen. We're going to get a lot of followers for that shit now, dog. Go ahead. Freedom of speech, brother. Alex is like, oh, this is that. This, this, these people spitting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, did, did you see the picture that I put in the notes of, of Hennessy? No. Yeah. This is like in lingerie, right? The baby's right. fuzzy, so I'm going to be on mute for a little for a uh, while. She's that's all right. Now. It's all right. You, we already got an hour, though. I mean, we, we're just getting into sports, actually. Uh, since, oh, shit. Well, Wait, we, since, we, we, go ahead and go finish with Hennessy. Well, really, since, since we're already on Mr. Take Your Girl, uh, let's just switch to Mr. Take Your Hat, bro. Is this, is this him? I mean, her? Yeah. Yeah. That's Cardi B's sister. What the fuck? <laughs> Definitely has surgery. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. But, yeah, let's go to Mr. Take Your Hat. Floyd is fighting... Was it Jake Paul, Logan Paul? He fought one of them motherfuckers. I think Logan. one of those Paul brothers, brothers, brothers. Um, June six on pay per view. Did you see that shit where he, where one of the Paul brothers took his hat? Yeah, that shows fire. Shows funny. Funny as fuck. Shows fire. Yeah, I didn't like it. Why? He took a little man's hat. It's lame. How old are they? What do you mean is lame? How old is fucking Floyd? Got your hat. It's like 48. Got your hat. That nigga said took off what Floyd <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and, and, and what's best about it is that that's not the nigga he's fighting, bro. Yeah. Oh, that is his brother, right? Yeah. yeah. So Floyd's, Floyd's giving him this energy. All this like what are they even doing together? Jake Paul was there with his brother, dog, at the weigh-ins, at the at the face-off thing. Oh, that was that was the weigh-in. It was like a little, like a, like a little. That was uh, not the weigh-in. Nah, this is yeah, like not two months That's, before. It was, a, it was a press conference. Yeah, the press the conference, press conference. Oh, but they do face-off and shit like that. Where yeah. They'll go in front of each other and shit. 
I, I just think Floyd is is, is at the Dolphin Stadium. First of all, he a bitch because he don't want to fight nobody else but a fucking uh, a celebrity, bro. You know what I'm saying? He don't want to fight because Pacquiao called his ass out again, and he don't want that. Everybody's I mean, hating it. Everybody's hating it, but yeah, bro, I don't because think he it's cares. it's a fucking nah. Of course not, because you know why? Because he's gonna make money, bro. Right. That's all it's about right now. Floyd's gonna and, win because he's gonna just gonna run around. Well, I don't know. Fucking Logan Paul's huge, bro. And the way that I think about it, like, it's like two tens, two, two. Yeah, he's gonna make money on it, but people are gonna say, "Oh, did you hear about Floyd? He's fighting that kid." Like, like box is totally down, and that's just people spreading the message more and more. Yeah, but also you have I, people like Eddie Alvarez saying, like. Back in the day, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to show that you were better at at a different sport like basketball, let's say you wanted to show somebody you're better than them at basketball, you play one on one a basketball game. You know what I'm saying? The whole game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And in uh, yeah. fighting, when somebody says they're better at it than fighting, you go into a boxing ring. Right. Instead of a full on fight, kicks, grapple, and all that shit. Right, right, right. I hear what so, you're saying. I mean. Hmm. It's, you know, boxing is definitely not fighting all the way. Oh, you do for bas- for baseball. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, no. best pitcher and hitter. Yep, that's it. You pitch, <laughs> you pitch and hit. That's what you're doing. Uh, nah, there was four no hitters thrown this year so far in baseball. Yeah, I've seen that too. Uh, the season started 36 days ago. Uh, so shout out to Joe Mosgrove, Carlos Radon, John Means, and the newly added Wade Miley. Uh, let's get into UFC, bro. You got you, you got some shit for UFC? So whack. Cowboy got his ass fucking dominated. Per- You're going for bro. Cowboy? Of course. Damn, bro. He got his ass fucked up. He went confident too. He done, bro. He done. Damn, you giving up that quick? That quick? All he, it lost takes? La- he lost his last three fights. Oh, okay. like I didn't know all that. By I'm stoppage. <laughs> oh He's shit! Like 40, yeah. Chill what round did out. they stop this one? First? Been... No, nah, it wasn't the first. I think yeah. it was like the third. No, no, nah, no. Nah, chill. Oh yeah, I think it was the third. No, nah, uh, yeah, no, man. I seen that one. It, it was ugly. Like ugly. Hey, Donald get the cowboy get hit. He's like, like, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Like you're in a fight. Block, bro. Like, what the fuck? I didn't I didn't see the main event. Oh, it was but, no, four. It was ass. Yeah, I I just switched it to the Canelo fight. No, bro, it was round one, four minutes and forty seconds in. Oh wow. So it was 20 seconds left on the clock. Yep. That's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, I mean the the, the real fight started yeah. at ten thirty or whatever time that was, 11. probably eleven. Yeah. How how how'd you like that fight? That shit was, I was yeah, it was really good. I was real like real nervous, not nervous. I think I was just like, uh, like ready, dog. I don't know. I was I nervous. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna front. I was nervous. We got an undefeated motherfucker. And, and, and he had, what, he had what 14 he knockouts the, and shit. What worried about me, what worried me was how big the ring was and how much he was gonna run. But he yeah. didn't run too much in the first couple rounds, so that's what got his ass fucked up. Wait, the ring was bigger tagged, than normal? Yeah, it was yeah. 22 foot, bro. It was 20. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm. How much are they usually? 20? Eight, 18 or 20, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And it was just I, I I had a feeling he was gonna like stick and move. I thought he was gonna do like what Floyd did, stick stick, bounce out, run around the whole ring, and that's the way Canelo lost the first time. His only loss was that stick and move shit. But Canelo is just a different fucking beast, bro. Now, what well, what do you think about him being a southpaw? The other dude, uh, Joe it? Sanders. What about it? Like, do you do you feel like that that was a disadvantage on Canelo? No, it's like basically what. What was happening was that Canelo was trying to figure out this guy's uh, moves and whatnot, like how well, yeah, how because he, he, he moves a lot and he, he, and he changes his stances a lot. You see him, he'll come in with his hands up, but he'll put his hands down with his head down. He was he, a wild guy, yeah, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, how he yeah. got knocked out that uppercut, yeah, but that's because he kept fucking you know, going down. Tyson Fury's the same way, bro. That's that, that's that British, shit. but well, they're like Tyson best Fury's friends, the no? same way, yeah. Tyson, Tyson Fury was talking that shit. <laughs> no, nah, he got booed. Shit, 
Yeah, he got booed, bro. Hell yeah, I'm talking talking that shit. Fucking talking. They don't that like shit, him over man. here. Who? Uh, he was talking that shit. He said, what, what, what was he saying? Out. That Canelo phone get knocked out. That Billy Joe Santos is gonna like school him. That he was gonna put on a show. Like, guess what, bro? He got his fucking ch- <laughs> fractured. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Tyson Fury won't go against Canelo. Ever? Oh, whoa, Jesus Christ, God Chris. Damn. Tyson Fury's what? like 300 pounds, bro. Canelo's yeah. 150, 160. What so they can't make adjustments? Bro. No, bro. What the fuck? What you want Canelo to gain like 30 pounds to meet at like two like 190? Yeah, no, that should have put so much on him and he'll lose, bro. Tyson you see how big Tyson Fury is? I, I'm just it's just a question. I don't it's like if you if you fought the big show. You want to fight the big show, Chris? <laughs> we uh me and Frank were talking about this, it's like me and you. You want to fight me, bro? <laughs> In a boxing, yeah. But that hurts. It'll hurt me, dog. It'll hurt you if I hurt you, bro. If <laughs> I break, that's what I'm saying. Cry, dog. De- definitely, like, yeah, you'll you'll put some damage on me. But <laughs> I won't you put I, damage I, I, on me, bro. Then what? I'll, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Let me drop you a one. I'll try. <laughs> but it's it's kind of the same way though, like it's like Canelo fair, and, and Tyson not- Fury. Yeah, it's just a disadvantage. They right. won't say fair. It's just a disadvantage. Hey, Chris, if you did, if you did snap Ozzy in one one punch, <laughs> would you stand over him? <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> would you stand over him, or would you try to help him up? Nah, I, I'm the type of person to help him up. Stand over him first, talk his shit, and then help him. All right, I'll pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, he's waking up. Pick him up. Pick him up. <laughs> I'm five four. Remember. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? Uh, don't fuck with me. <laughs> Tyson Fury, he, he's going, he's going against Anthony Joshua in three weeks in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So and like they they announced that after the fight. Uh, so he's up in three he weeks. Wearing. He was very flam flamboyant, flamboyant. <laughs> Look like fl- you can't flamingo. Say. Gypsy King, boy. Why do they call him that? Fucking Gypsy. Where is he from? England? Great Britain. Great Britain? Is that a place? Right? It sounds like a place. So yeah, let's go with it. All right. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> no, sure. Like, fuck, fucking place. Canelo split Joe Saunders' cheeks open, yo. I felt bad for that motherfucker. His no, eye was about to come out of his... That's how he, he won. He ain't split and open. He won't bleed Bro, that thing was like, like Canelo was like, bro, I split his cheek open. I broke he his broke, cheek. He broke his cheek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he, that shit was split open. He didn't get cut though. It was just, a, it was just swollen. It was, it wasn't like a huge thing right here. No, it looked it like just, a gash on his cheek. Yeah, it did, but it was just purple. It, it swelled up immediately. Nah, that shit was ugly. Well, he That's broke his, he broke his, England. he broke his or, orbital. Man, he broke his eye socket. I don't know what that bro. is. His eye socket. Oh, okay. This shit right here. Yeah, feel all this. Is all this like tough bone? Oh, right his here? eye. Like he could go like that, and like he could feel his eye go back and forth. Nah, I, just, ah, I, I can imagine man. you feel sharp as pain, though. Ah. <laughs> that what Canelo said. Canelo said he went to the corner. He told the trainers, "The man, he said, I broke it. I broke his face. I hit him. I hit his eye. I broke his face. He felt that shit. Apparently, he felt that shit. Like he caught him good, bro. That was a good ass uppercut." It was a good ass. That shit was clean. He stepped back and launched. Boop. Bang. And a, and and a said, crowd. He said, the crowd went crazy. Got a little sick. 30,000 people. Hey, it wasn't 30,000 people. Oh, 73,000 people. 73,000 people. Sold oh, out yeah, crowd. All for Canelo. And Canelo was crying. Like, he, Did he, he cry? He was. Now he was overwhelming though. Like his, his eyes were watering, like, but he never shed a tear. Nah, they were like all these people are here for I you, took. Canelo. And then look, I edit that bit. Oh, hell yeah! Put that shit on a. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that I'm one. Put that shit on a t-shirt. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. Yeah. The, the NFT. Hey, give there me a go. poster, bro. Hey. Give me a poster. Oh yeah. I think and then he had this message that. right here to say, "What you said, Chris." I think you can do that. That's I'm why sure. I ain't post it, bro. I'm gonna wait till I, if I see it like that. If not, you know what I'm talking about. Know that bitch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. 
he says <laughs> the the commentator says something like that he said he said yeah it's uh it's uh long live mexico mofos yeah mofos. <laughs> i was like what the fuck hey, but, he will uh, hype bro he will hype yeah I, I like that energy that he was on uh but to, to, there, was ne- there was never a doubt that he wasn't gonna win the fight he said he wasn't hurt that this was the game plan it's a eighth nine round he was gonna do it he did it mm-hmm. what what do you think about south paws on south paw I'm left. I'm a southpaw too. Like, what happens is two southpaws go to get go go over that. Go against foot, each other. Uh, stepping on each other's foot, trying to that foot battle. Same thing like with right hands fight right hands. It's that orthodox. You got to fight for that foot position. Ah, it's so it's just a normal. It's a normal fight then. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not considered a southpaw then, if you're going yeah. against a southpaw. Yeah, you are. It's left handers. Um. That's what I told you. All right. I, I was telling Frank I never watched the movie, so I, I don't understand. Movie? South Paul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know that movie? Yeah, bro. <laughs> so, until I see that movie, I, I need to put that on my checklist. And um, What the fuck does it have to do with anything, bro? I'm sweating, though, just because of this shit. Right? <laughs> That's what it's, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's uh, wrap it up. Uh, I, I was gonna put Sweetie was down bad. That's what that the fucking title was 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 about. <laughs> the, the YouTube chat. <laughs> Sweetie was down bad performing on at the beach, Santa Monica Beach, with a tip jar. Um, no, yeah, she was on Santa Monica Beach performing. She had a microphone that wasn't even plugged in or anything. Uh, she was singing my type and shit. Had a little crowd of like 15 people. Was trying to do what Isaiah Rashad did, but didn't work. Uh, that's what happens when you want a Birkin, but can't afford to put fucking money into that fucking purse. Mm-mm. Oh, you're performing at Fort Beaches now. This, this, She's saying my type out there. That's fucking stupid. That's, that's the one that, that, that Quavo that's just got rid of. Quavo got rid of who? Uh, Sweetie? Yeah, Sweet remember yeah, that sweet yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. Sweetie was in the elevator event and yeah, she this and that. And now she over here at the beach. Big and sad. Hey, she, had um, a sign, she had a sign that said pretty bitch summer donation. <laughs> with a little cup of, with a little cup Tupperware. Mm. She was dressed in some spandex tight ass you, spandex. You think she on crack? Shit. Yeah. She look good if she on crack. For real? Yeah, she on crack. She bad. Mm. She on. So we're wanting to tip Jordan, nigga. <laughs> she down uh, bad. <laughs> I'll take her crack. I'll give um, her Elon like, Musk was on SNL last night. If you ain't know, <laughs> you under a rock, dog. Uh, he ended up destroying Doge. Uh, destroying? No? I don't fucking know. Did you watch it last night? I pulled out. Me too. Wait, when when'd you pull out? Uh like a week ago. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. but Sally was in yeah, though, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. She in for the long run. Yeah, yeah, she in for the long run. We but it, it, it did bad yesterday. So uh Elon Musk was on SNL. He ended he opened up the monologue saying that um he's one of the first SNL hosts to host with Asperger's and Asperger's is like a uh like a autism like a like a low form of autism yeah uh that it's kind of a social like, anxiety type yeah, what's it, like anti-social type shit yeah that but with autism you also get like kind of like superpowers so this is a genius but sometimes he just doesn't he kind of gets stage fright which I kind of feel like that's kind of like a tap out for like I feel like a lot of people are like that. They just don't call it Asperger's. Like that's kind of like me. I'm kind of awkward and a genius, but I don't say anything. Um, but <laughs> it, uh, Elon Musk started with the monologue saying that he had Asperger's, and then he ended up getting his mother on uh, to say a few words, and his mother says some, something along the lines of. Oh, well, 
you're going to give me something for Mother's Day, just don't give me that Doja coin. And as soon as she said that, Nettie, excuse me, probably a, a minute later, Doja coin went from 69 cents to like, I want to say like 51 cents, 49 cents, just plummeted, bro. As soon as she said, don't give me that Doja coin. And uh, for that whole day, just it wasn't looking good for them. And I bought after that. As soon as it plummeted, I bought. I, I didn't buy a lot. I just bought like a little $100 worth. But I was already out. Um, I, I know last week I said, get your get your, your stuff in because it's going to skyrocket. You're costing well, people money and they're following you blindly. I, I'm not telling anybody that's to what purchase I, no, anything. That's, that's what I do say. That's what I do say. That's what I do oh. say. <laughs> hey, that's why I choose my words like carefully because I don't tell people to purchase anything. I just give them the news on what's out there. You do what you will with that information and we and then we get rich together. If if so, we, we, we do it together. I, it, my main thing is I plant seed in people's heads. That way, if, if you take the information perfect if, if it could perfect the idea that you already had even better but my main thing is that we give y'all the information that y'all need to know uh and like i was saying last week i i was saying to get into it i was planning on getting into it but i also wanted to dip into honest because that was the ipo that we we're talking about last week so I thought I was slick that I was going to transfer the money that I had from Dogecoin into the IPO. And I forgot the market closed at a certain time and I didn't sell it in time. So I was stuck with Honest for the whole weekend and didn't have a, I didn't have much funds to work with Dogecoin. So it was kind of a blessing in in disguise because Dogecoin plummeted and actually Honest kind of stayed stagnant. And I'm pretty sure it's going to skyrocket soon, hopefully. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to split my my profits in there and just go towards crypto. Nah, I've been learning a lot of crypto, bro. I was showing I was showing Frankie. It's just interesting. Um and then Elon Musk had another segment called the Doge Father and uh he tried to explain to the staff of SNL what Dogecoin was and they just weren't understanding it. They they had a hard time like elon musk was like oh yeah so dogecoin is a cryptocurrency that is followed by the blockchain blockchain and like the government can't track it and this and that and they're like oh okay so what is dogecoin exactly and he was like oh well it was just uh it's it's just a blockchain technology they can't track you down and like he just keeps going like further into it and they're like yeah and they're like so what is Dogecoin? Like, they just weren't understanding at all. They asked the question like five times. And at the end, they're like, oh, so it's a hustle. And he's like, yeah, it's a hustle. Yeah, whatever. And they're like, oh, okay, why don't you just say so? So like, yeah, it just wasn't a good look at Dogecoin at all. So uh, I, I, I'm i just glad. Just be on the lookout. I, I, I've been researching cryptocurrency and they're very... Um, their value resonates a lot when it comes to news. And if they're in the headlines for something positive, it's best to go after that. If it's at their Dogecoin, like that day, Elon Musk said something that like risk at your own, like uh, invest in your own risk or something like that. He tweeted that on Twitter. And as soon as I seen that, I was like, yo, this shit doesn't sound very promising. So that's when I took out. But um, yeah, I'm starting to learn that. That like the crypto market, it's based on news, like really, really. And maybe that's like all the other shit, like other stocks. But uh, investment of the week, it's something similar that what we already covered, but with a new twist, uh, Bitcoin ATMs. Now, I had this idea that whenever I was speaking to my dad, we we're talking about Miami's going to be the Bitcoin hub and whatnot. And that there's a bunch of Bitcoin ATMs all around. I checked how many Bitcoin ATMs are in my area. And there's only six in in Lee County. So 
if you know about Bitcoin and if you're invested in it and you know the long term, you will know that these are kind of, I wouldn't say they're going to replace the ATM, but they're going to be kind of joint ventured. So it would be the best time to get in right now. I'm sure 10 years down the line, there's not going to be six ATMs in Lee County. There's probably going to be 20, maybe even 50. So why wait until 10 years down the line? You could get in right now. There's systems that that offer you to just buy crypto or you could even sell your cryptos with certain machines. So uh, the ones that you can sell them make more money, but you're looking at between 5,000 to maybe like 12,000 for these machines. But really good investment. Uh, other than that, dog, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I do have one more, uh, one more commercial, Gemini. In order to buy some of these Bitcoins, Use our link below and you get up to $10 worth of Bitcoin. That's an easy and really accessible app that, that you can just download. I referred it to a lot of people. It's a simple and secure uh, app that you could purchase Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. With Robinhood, you don't really own the crypto. Robinhood owns the crypto and you kind of borrow from Robinhood. But with Gemini, you're actually owning what what you uh, what you purchase, and you can even have some interest on that. So, if you have a hundred dollars invested in it, you can get one dollar interest uh, offered, and you get a dollar extra every day. So, just uh, click the link below on Gemini again. Other than that, y'all, we're gonna be out and about. Y'all got anything else to tell the people? Keep it clean in between because y'all niggas is dirty out there still. And I heard uh, the, the vaccination shit rising. So, I mean, not vaccinating that COVID shit rising again. So, I know where it's coming uh, from, too. Florida. Easy. Oh, yeah. Easy. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, uh, Frankie? Not. Have a good week. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> Why you face it like that? <laughs> Woo. Well, yeah, I hope y'all have a great week. We had another successful episode. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for listening. Thank y'all so much everywhere across the world from Texas to Florida. I love Florida and I love Texas. That's all I really care about. Fuck all y'all other people. Damn, we're about to lose nah, a lot kidding. of listeners, dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Elon just... Musk back at it Cambodia. again. Cambodia. That... Cambodia in Asia. Now, I'm never going to forget that. I, I'm never gonna forget that. Yeah, um, in Asia, Asia. In Africa. I, and even in, in, in France, we've been getting some some gainers in France, Columbus, New York. Now nah, we 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 t- we keep tabs on all of y'all. Thank y'all, yo. We really appreciate y'all. But until next time, we'll catch y'all till then. Peace in the Middle East. Let it um, rain, Spain. We out. <laughs>